Hey everyone, Wonderbricks here. Today I'll be doing a review and speed build on LEGO 75349 Captain Rex. So I got this model in Clone Commander Cody that came out a few days ago at my local Kmart. They were retailing for $89 Australian, but EB Games have them for 119 so if you plan on getting these models, shop around, it will save you a few dollars. So it is good to see that the clone troopers have finally been added into the helmet range and I think we will see a few more of them in the coming years. So looking at the box of this build, it's the same style as the previous years, nice and sleek, gets to the point. It's a pretty good looking box with a big image of the completed model on the front with a slight blue glow behind it. It has its name and Lego and Star Wars logos. On the first side, just the logo and the name of the model in a few different languages. On the back of the box we have a completed model again but on the opposite side to the front and three small images, two of which are Captain Rex in the Clone Wars TV series and in between them is a front on image of the Lego helmet with its height dimensions which is 21 centimeters tall or 8 inches. On the last side we have a front on image of the completed model and Star Wars and Lego logos again and the Clone Wars 20 year anniversary logo. On the bottom of the box we have a small parts warning, no zero to three year olds and where the components were designed and made. On the top of the box we have logos and a one to one scale model of a piece. So opening the box was different from the previous two years in Australia. There was a little plastic sticker that you used to just remove and the top and the bottom of the box would just open without damaging the box. But this time there was a push tab at the bottom of the box. You have to press it in and it damages the box. I personally don't like this style. The box is now damaged. But if you don't keep the boxes, I guess it doesn't matter. So inside the box you have a few packets of Lego labelled 1 to 5, a sticker sheet and a new looking instruction booklet. I personally don't like the change in this. I much prefer the old black style. It suits Star Wars a lot better. So on the first page we have a little bit of info on the character and the next page is a full page image of Rex and a couple of other clone troopers. So there is 328 steps to this build and 854 pieces. And at the back of the booklet there is a full inventory of parts. So first off, I'll start with a stand. I love that they are using the same stand as the previous helmets. So they all match. Hopefully they don't try to change this in the coming years. It also has the same plaque tile as previous years. So they all match. With the build I had a few issues connecting some of the parts as you'll see in the video. But nothing too hard to overcome. Might have been using a little bit too much pressure at times. The helmet itself when finished looks pretty cool. It has some nice blue details around the visor, mouthpiece and a few bits on the top of the helmet which really help break up the white and make it stand out. The air tubes on this model look awesome as well. They all flow together pretty good for Lego parts. Definitely best part of the model. I also like the eye visor. It looks pretty spot on to the show. So where this model lets itself down is definitely the stickers. Getting the weld lines to line up is a pain and on my model it looks a bit out of place. So a bit disappointed about that. But to get that detail this is the only way I think they could have achieved this. Also I don't like the mouthpiece. It's definitely not to scale. It looks pretty average. There are gaps all around it. I'm not sure what else they could have done to make it look better, but it looks average at best. It would have been a lot better if it looked a bit like the Stormtrooper they had in the first series. If they could have somehow incorporated it into this build. So I would say this helmet is the hardest to build in the series so far. Just a few little tricky parts, but overall not too difficult. So I would give it a 5 out of 10 for difficulty. So for enjoyment for this build I would give it a 7 out of 10. It is a pretty fun build but not as good as some of the previous models. So a round up of the build, the pros are it's the first clone trooper in the Star Wars Lego helmet series. It looks pretty cool. There's some nice blue t details in it. The air tubes look good and the price hasn't changed from last year so that's a plus. The cons of the build are the mouthpiece looks out of place and the stickers pretty average as well. So this build took me 2 hours 9 minutes and 26 seconds to complete. Let me know in the comments how long it took you and your thoughts on the build. So on Sunday I'll be uploading my next review and that will be on LEGO 75350 Clone Commander Cody.
So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you all in the next video. Wonderbricks out.